welcome back to my channel and welcome to the second part of my makeup kit reorganization video. If you guys haven't already checked out the first part, definitely go ahead and check out the first part. Otherwise, this part will probably not make sense to you. I will be linking the first part of this video down below in the description bar, so go check that out. I am actually filming this video two days after I filmed the last video because my Amazon shipment came in super, super quickly, which I'm really excited about. Also, I just wanted to put it out there just before anybody comments it down below, but I am wearing the same outfit as I was in the first video just because I forgot to film an intro for the first video. I don't know how I just spaced for some reason, but I didn't film an intro for the first video. So I am filming the intro and the outro of both videos in this same outfit. So just in case you guys have noticed, that's what's happening. <laughs> Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get on to the video. Like I did before in the first video, I want to make sure that I show you guys what I actually got here. Again, all this stuff came from Amazon. I just got it today, so I'm so, so excited that it came in the mail. The first thing that I got is this Honest Beauty facial oil here. This is actually a company that's run by Jessica Alba, the actress, and she runs this company called Honest Beauty. It's just basically a really organic and clean company. This is basically going to be for my drier skin clients. I just wanted to have some sort of facial oil um, for them. So yeah, I'm gonna probably be using this guy here. As you can see, this is what it looks like. Um, and it says it has a blend of eight fruits and seed oils, so yeah. Hopefully this will be very nourishing for my drier skin clients. I'm especially going to use this for my luxury bridal facials, but I definitely wanted to have some sort of facial oil in my kit for drier skin clients because I don't currently have that. And next I have these guys right here. So these are actually sample jars for my touch-up kits that I give my brides. So basically what I do with these is I stick a little bit of translucent powder in here, and then I also stick um, their lip color that I put on them in these sample jars as well. They come with a whole bunch of little labels that you can stick on the back of these or on the tops of the lids. And you can either put their name on it or what it is inside of the jar. I do give two of these per client, so I do run out of these sample jars extremely quick. I do have a wedding in a week or so, um, so I'll definitely be needing these. So I just wanted to make sure to restock on these. And then these guys I got in a set. These are just basically bottles for foundations. But what I'm going to do with these is actually put concealers in them. <laughs> um, they're not going to be housing foundations. I'll show you what they look like. They're two ounces, I believe. I'm going to be putting my Too Faced Born This Way concealers in there. This is what they originally look like. And as you can see, they are in a plastic packaging. They're not glass, but they are thicker and they're just kind of heavy still. And especially when you have like eight different colors going on, it's very handy to have them in lighter weight bottles. So I am going to be transferring all of them into here. Also, these squeeze too. And the Too Faced Born This Way concealers have a doe foot applicator, which is like really obnoxious to try to get out. So I'm going to probably be getting them out of the other packaging and putting them into here. And then the last thing I got from Amazon are these bags right here. So let me show you what they look like like they're basically a set of eight bags i believe i believe there's eight of them one two three four five six seven eight nope there's ten of them i miscounted there's 10 of these. <laughs> so basically what's really handy about these is that, first of all, they're individual bags. They're also colored too, so in case you need to use it for separating out your kit. But what I'm actually gonna use these for is separating out my brushes. So I found it more hygienic, um, rather than like spot cleaning my brushes in between each client, is literally preloading these with brushes for each client. So say if I have four clients, then I'll have four bags, and I'll put a set of eye brushes and a set of face brushes in each one of these for my clients. And then you can actually label them if you want to so like ahead of time the night before I can slip in a piece of paper right here and then label it with their names so I know whose bag is whose I mean it won't really matter in the grand scheme of things but at least I can keep it separate that way this is one of the things that I'm gonna change for my COVID policies I'm gonna make sure that I'm as sanitary as possible with my brushes because yeah you can spot clean your brushes in between but that spot cleaner doesn't really clean as well as soap and water would if you're doing it at home and deep cleaning but of course no artist really has time for to let all their brushes dry and then continue on you know with their clients and everything you pretty much have to like go 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 hopefully having these pouches for each individual client will help me be a little bit more sanitary with my brushes i think that's it for this haul let me just bring over my kit because i did change some things since the last time you guys saw this in the last part so this is what my kit looks like i ended up changing the disposables around and i think i changed around like some of these things too but basically what happened last time as you saw in the video i had three of these going but i can't for some odd reason cut down my disposables like the wand handles are too thick and my scissors won't cut through it so I thought I could cut them short enough to be able to have them fit all in these and then have the lids shut 
but because you want to make sure that your disposables are in an airtight container otherwise bacteria and everything can get inside of it so i wanted to make sure that my disposables were still really hygienic and i didn't feel comfortable with them just sticking out off the top without any sort of lid on top of them or any sort of seal on top of them so I ended up putting some of my disposables back in one of these fishing tackle boxes that I had before. Um, I just put all my wands and everything right there, the lipstick applicators, um, and then my sponges as well because they were kind of bulky in those containers before. And then in this little case that I got from the Dollar Tree, I still have my little eyeliner wands here that I use for lash glue. I have my Q-tips and then I still have my cotton pads as well in here. So yeah, these were at least short enough that I could stick in here and still have the lid sealed. But again, if you guys have disposables like this, make sure they're not open. They have to be in some sort of sealed container, otherwise they're not sanitary and bacteria can get in them and everything. So yeah, I just made sure that I wanted to be still as sanitary as possible and the other method that I tried was not sanitary at all. So I know some of you guys are probably going to comment in the first video and be like, it's not sanitary, but I mean, I tried my best and I decided not to do it, obviously. So um, I switched it back to the original, but then at least I was still able to keep one of the boxes that I got in the Dollar Tree because I was really happy that I found these. I'll probably just think of something else to do with those otherwise it was only like two dollars that I wasted so I mean I'm not mad about it or anything as you guys saw in the last video I heavily struggled with how I was gonna put the view sets in there because they're so bulky sometimes and they wouldn't all fit nicely in a row like this so once I removed two of these containers and I was able to fit all these back here I still have my blush palette and my RCMA foundation palette right here and then I just moved my micellar water right here um, I decided to also put in my hand sanitizer that I got um, right there. And yeah, I think everything else stayed the same from my first video. I just wanted to update you guys on my thought process and what happened with my kit after you guys saw me last time. So yeah, that's what my kit currently looks like. Right now, I think I'm going to take all these concealers out. These are all the Too Faced Born This Way concealers that I told you guys about. And I think I have six of them. So I'll get out six little containers. I might also put other things in these too. I'm not quite sure yet. Okay guys, so after numerous minutes of trying to get this thing in the bottle, I finally got the entire bottle of concealer inside of this container. But again, it'll be really lightweight for me and it squeezes out. I think I probably will have to store them upside down and just label them on the top. It'll make my kit so much lighter like this. So if you guys have not already thought about doing this for foundations and concealers, definitely consider putting them into plastic bottles like this, especially ones that are completely see-through so you can see through to see the accurate color of them. Okay guys, after several several hours of depotting my concealers out of their original containers and scooping and depotting again. I finally got all of them into these six containers and I'm so so excited. So yeah I just took my label maker and labeled all of them. Um, I had to flip the whole containers upside down so all the product settles at the bottom here because the concealers are thicker than foundations so they just don't um, actually settle very easily. So anyways, I labeled those, and yeah, I got them all in the kit, so I think that's about it, honestly. But yeah, that's the final kit that I have so far. All right, guys, so that is it for part two of this kit reorganization video. I hope you guys really enjoyed reorganizing my kit with me. Again, there's so many more products I want to add to my kit, so many more things I want to do to it, so I'm definitely not done by any means. But luckily, I think I got it to where I want it for the time being. As I said before, I will probably do an updated makeup artist kit video a couple of months down the road. So definitely stay tuned on my channel for that. I know you guys have really, really appreciated the last makeup artist kit video, which literally hit like 21,000 views. I'm sorry, how crazy is that, guys? <laughs> I just never expected it to go that far and I just am amazed that 21,000 people watched that video. Like that's just insane to me. As always, if you guys like this video and like my channel, don't forget to like this video and give it a big thumbs up as well as hitting that subscribe button and as well as the notification bell and that will notify you of any future videos as well as the freelance makeup artist kit video that I will be filming here pretty soon. So yeah, I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Alright, bye.